Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some Naya Slivers, and we have uh, a fine hand. It's acceptable. We'll keep it. It's not the best of the best, though. I would definitely like to see uh, some different things here, but we're going against Affinity. Uh, so Affinity uh, with this hand isn't really that good. So we shall see what happens. Keep getting a bunch of draws, but will we be able to compete? I think... Well, we'll throw down the Viverlint, why not? We've got plenty of mana to start doing stuff, so... Put down what we can put down. Prophetic Prism, drawing a card. They can easily get out some frog mites right now. See if they've got any. Oh, they don't. Okay. Maybe. Maybe they do. Maybe I spoke too soon. Nope. Okay. Alright, so winding way, huh? I think we're just gonna winding way. Try to find some lords. Those are not lords. It's a bit unfortunate. Hmm. Alright. Well, we'll swing in for one. Mm-mm-mm. I guess we'll dump a striking may come in handy here. Uh, blade back two. We could drop the blossoming sands. Um, yeah, I'm fine with dropping blossoming sands so we can play an ash burns. Maybe get a mountain, have all our mana right. That's fine. I, I want to keep these lead the stampedes and winding ways to draw into more lords because we will need the lords eventually to beat. There are big boys that they will be playing soon, probably this turn. Springleaf Drum, looks like they're holding up Galvanic. Oh, there's a Mirror Enforcer, alright, there's the big boys, they begin. They can put out a bunch of them. <laughs> Alright. They are passing, though. So, that's fine. We got a sinew. Um, I think we're just going to start setting up here. As much as we can. Play this out. We'll play a striking... We'll play a Sidewinder, and we can play Gem Hide next turn and possibly try to get down a few more things. We'll just keep setting up. I want to be able to try to play around a Galvanic Blast too if I can and just drop like a ton of stuff when they're tapped out, so... Alright, Forger. Atog. Here comes the Atog. Gotta watch out for that now. Yeah, they got a good board. Alright, so we're gonna go Gem Hide into winding way there's all our lords okay that's good we'll start uh yeah we'll start dropping some lords 
we may need to chump lock this ATOC. <laughs> Honestly. Because they could potentially kill us with that ATOG. Bit scary. Alright. Tapping for what? This could be... Uh, gear Serp. Yeah, Gear Seeker. That's what I thought. Gear Seeker can become unblockable. Uh, which isn't good. We'll take the four from the mirror enforcer. I'm not worried about that. I'd be more. I'm, I'm more worried about when Atog swings in. Again, plenty of lords, which is nice. So let's see if we can start really getting out of range here. Just dump everything. Have a bunch of six sixes. They don't have a galvanic blast, sure. Okay, yeah. There we go. Stabilizing. Stabilization complete. Mites. We got plenty of blockers. Tap an ATOG for another ATOG. All right. Yeah, pass the turn. All right. That's good, too. Uh, I think we'll leave the Stampede first. See what we can grab. Any order for these. Alright, so let's put down more lords. We'll definitely put down a plated. And we will put down a sidewinder. And we can... Down another Viverlint and really make it hard for him. Put down a Viverlint. Uh, I don't really want to swing in with my lords yet, anyways. Seven eights. We got. How many blockers? Four blockers. Alright, we'll swing in here. They can block a couple things. Maybe double block a couple things. And then next turn we can set up for like the blade back plan. Or do we want to just wait and just play gem hide into blade back? Really put the pressure on them. Maybe that's just best. Swing in, they double block. And we have less creatures. Um, double block. Well, the first strike comes in handy quite a bit. You know what? I don't know if I want to take any chances. I don't know. I'm, I'm scared of what they could do, potentially. I don't want to lose, like, a crazy amount. I think... I think we'll just try to go empty-handed here. Let's do it. We'll go blade back. We'll go hellbent. We can just kill him like that. Holy crap. We cannot see our entire board at all. All right. <laughs> Sorry about that. We got lots of things to do, though. 
Lots of blockers to play around with. Another ATOG. They'll probably just pass. Yep. Yeah, I think playing it safe is fine. That way we don't lose any creatures and we have more to hit with the, the blade back when it comes down. They know they're in trouble, though. And Ash Barons. Sure. Let's go get another forest. Thin our deck. All right. Or... Conversely, we could just swing in with everything at this point. They can block one, two, three, four, f five, six, six, seven, and then we still have so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then we still have a ton of damage coming in at them. I don't think they play with any fog. Uh, don't know what they're setting up for either. All right, here's what we're gonna do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight, nine, ten. We'll swing in with just three extra that they can't block, which is lethal anyways, right? Seven, 14. Yeah, which is lethal anyways, and we'll just hold back some blockers just in case they got anything else. Because they have to block everything, and then we should just win. But just in case they do have, like, some fog or something, which would be pretty crazy if they did, I want to be set up just in case. Because they didn't just auto-concede. Block one more, and then we've got... 14. Yeah, and we got all this flanking coming in. Maybe I'm playing way too cautious around that one card in their hand. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. But I, you know, I'm just playing around everything I can think of here that they might be setting up for considering they didn't just, like, concede. Which, you know, is interesting. But they're letting everything through so they don't have the fog. And I think we just got them here. We're having some crazy boards this week, like some nutty boards. Some really good stuff with Hellbent. Alright. Blocks are through. And we win. Okay. Yeah, maybe I played around a little too cautiously there, but, you know, better safe than sorry. Um, let's see. What do I want? Gleeful Sabotage. Thank you very much. And maybe one Fireball. Get rid of a blade back. I do like striking in this matchup. Even Hunters like has its place in this matchup too. Maybe we just don't need the fireball. Just the gleeful sabotage. Cut a lead. Or you know what? No, we'll keep a lead, we'll cut a winding way. Mm, we could counter their thought casts or their gear seeker. Is that really worth it to bring in Pyroblast? It's not the best, honestly. It's only got a couple targets. We'll keep it like this. This is fine. And yeah, okay. <laughs> why why you leave? Why you leave? <laughs> they just left so quickly. Oh my gosh. That happened on Monday, too. Like, they just got so salty and left. But it was such a good game one. What do I do with that? All right. Let me know in the comments, please. If you don't mind if I put up the one-shotters like that, where I put up a match and they leave after game one because they just have too much salt. But it was a good match and it went like 10, 15 minutes and it was a good long match and whatever. You know, if you guys don't mind that, Leave it in the comments below. Let me know if you do or you don't. If you do mind it, then I'll just won't post those. 
and I'll only make sure to post games that are fully complete best of threes. If you do mind it, uh, if you if you don't mind it, let me know as well, because I don't mind posting these best of ones where they just leave out of salt, because, I mean, they left. They We owned them, they left. It, we won. We won. We smoked them. So, it's technically still a win. Uh, it's just, like, I want to be able to see where game two went, and it's frustrating for me. Um, but again, it's like, we had a good matchup. I, I, I have 15 minutes of recording here that I don't want to let go to waste. It was a good affinity matchup, so... Let me know if you guys um, don't care, do care, and we'll go from there. Because that's two this week that we've had where they left after game one. I'll post them, and then going forward, I'll just let you guys uh, tell me what you think about keeping those in or keeping those out as far as matches go. That's it. Let me know. Please subscribe, leave a comment, leave a like, and we will see you guys in the next video.